Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Τα προγράμματά μας προσφέρονται σε πολλές γλώσσες. Παρακαλούμε δείτε suprememastertv.com κάθε το schedule. Truly, animals can tell you things. You know, many people read in the Bible or somewhere on the Holy Scripture say that the, the animals can communicate with you. Yeah? Ask the birds and they will tell you. Ask the fish and they will uh, indicate or instruct you. Ask the animals. Huh? Then they will help you. Truly like that. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Joyful greetings, generous viewers. My name is George. The energetic people of Angila praise God for keeping you safe and happy. The lovely archipelago of Angila is situated in the Caribbean Sea, east of the Virgin Islands. It includes the main island of Anguilla and a number of smaller offshore, uninhabited islands and caves. Vibrant coral reefs and crystal clear waters that meet scenic stretches of white sand beaches make it the perfect tropical paradise. Inhabiting the islands are a variety of small reptiles such as lizards found only in Anguilla, as well as endangered sea turtles in waters protected by the islands, seven marine parks and many goats on land. Anguilla is also a nesting stop for thousands of migratory birds. The island's rich history is revealed in Fountain Cavern National Park, containing an underground cave with an ancient place of worship. Today's Angulans have a high acceptance of all beliefs. They offer welcoming smiles and greetings to familiars and visitors alike. Music features highly in the Angulan culture. Banky Banks, also known as the Angelian Bob Dylan, is internationally known for his pioneering reggae style. Anguilla's national sport of regatta boat racing is also culturally significant. Starting some 200 years ago, with speed competitions to work on other islands, boat races are now colourful events held on holidays that always attract large crowds. It was a privilege to share a glance of enduring Anguilla with you optimistic viewers. We wish you meaningful days filled with generosity and compassion. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, 
she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honored One Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Heart, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another work-related phone call on Thursday, February 11, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Adam and Eve's Exile from the Garden of Eden, Part 5 of 9, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on February 11, 2021. He saw treasure, he saw other jewels, yeah, and fruits and gardens and everything. He did not feel the desire for them. But when he saw this big diamond, as big as a watermelon, I wonder how big is that? <laughs> Some watermelons are about this big, you know? Yeah. Some are about this big, yeah. yeah. Like half of my arm lens and thick like that. Yeah. I saw them. Yes, and then mostly people cannot buy them all. They have to slice it and give to you some part. Except the maybe big company or big uh, restaurant, they they buy them. You know, then they can distribute. But for one family, if you buy this big uh, watermelon, it will last forever and it might go <laughs> go bad. Yeah. Yes. You don't want to eat watermelon every day. That is the thing. Because <laughs> we have choice. We are spoiled. We spoil with choice, that's why. Mm. Not like uh, one of uh, the story in Vietnam. You remember I told the story of Vietnam, one of the adopted, the prince of Vietnam before? The king kicked him out. Yes, yes master. And then uh, exiled him to a wide island. And over there he found these watermelons. And then they survived on that. They even sold it <laughs> afterward. He drove a map on the watermelon and the boat people found them, went there and then made business together with watermelon to exchange for all the necessity. Then he lived fabulously mm. because he believed in God. Uh, the king thinking that, oh, he has to be uh, faithful to him, uh, grateful to him because, because the king gave him everything, even adopted him as a prince. But uh, he said, no, God gave it to me, <laughs> which is true. Yeah, because we have to realize that we came with nothing. Even the king also came naked, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. 
so every day even if I give uh, things to eat for the birds or for the squirrels and all that, I said to them, you thank God before you eat, okay? God gave it to you. God gave it to you. Sometimes I forget, I say, I gave it to you there, go eat. But I said, that's from God. <laughs> you must thank God before you eat. I never thought it's from me, even if I say that. Hmm. Same with all the charity or even the lecture I'm giving. In my heart, I always know it's from God. And it is true, because after I talk to you, I hardly remember anything. <laughs> Whenever I have to kind of uh, edit the BMD that you gave to me, yeah, to ask me whether or not it's okay, yeah, any mistake or anything, yeah. And then I read it or I look at it, I saw it, oh, it's like brand new to me. You know, <laughs> like I heard the first time. Of course, I remember one bit here and bit there. When when something evokes my memory, I remember. I but I don't remember the whole thing, just one or two, uh, part of it. If I'm made to remember, <laughs> if you let me see all the lecture I made long, long time ago, yeah, like ten years, five years back back then when I was a beginner, <laughs> I don't remember a thing. Yeah. And if you give it to me to edit or to check, recheck, I sit there with big eyes. My <laughs> <laughs> <white> ears. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I was mesmerized. Wow. Wow. That was really cool. <laughs> really nice, really. Really wise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Not because I said it, because I forgot it all completely. Mm, yeah. And I had a chance to look back at it. Oh my God, I forgot everything. And I just sat there just just like I never saw it before. Mm. I sat like, oh, wow, <laughs> <laughs> wow really? <laughs> then I understood, you know, at that time, I understood why the so-called disciples loved them so much. Because it's truly logical. Yeah, truly real, truly truthful, and there's nothing you can debate about it. There's nothing that is n not to like, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, right, so now we go back to Eden, yeah? Mm. Or oh, outside Eden, we are out already, kicked out already. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to our forefather Adam. So God made many Adams, eh? We thought only one. And they all made the same mistake. Huh. Aren't the man so <laughs> unclever? <huh? laughs> My goodness. And why God did such a lousy job? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, again and again and again he made the same mistake. So I think we can blame God also. Sorry, sir, <laughs> you have to improve. <laughs> I improve your product. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you can blame women and men. They, you know, struggle to live with each other and quarrel and having heartache, having trouble quarreling all the time and having broken marriage and all that stuff. Yeah? Because God did not make us perfect. Ah, or maybe God made us perfect. We cannot blame God. It's just us. We are not strong enough to withstand any temptation. But how can you withstand the temptation in heaven? Huh? Uh, that even here on earth, we are tempted many ways already, right? We cannot even stop our desires of one thing after another. But in heaven, the things there are much, much, much more glorious, much more glamorous, much more tempting, much more beautiful. So how can Adam not not fall? You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Mm. Maybe God knew it. Maybe God wanted him to fall. So that they go out of Eden and spread all over, you know, multiply into children and great-great-grandchildren, and then uh, fertilize the whole planet. Make more apples. <laughs> Thanks to Adam that now we have apples to eat, no? <laughs> Probably he knows how to plant apples 
okay? <laughs> From Eden, yeah? Probably he took one, one or two seeds. Maybe before God uh, uh, kicked him out, God gave him many seeds, yeah? To cultivate all over the planet. That's how we have so many things nowadays, yes? Isn't that, isn't that a miracle, hmm? You don't even know where he came from. You were born, you grow up, and there we have apples already. Yeah. <laughs> we have watermelons, we have apricots, we have, uh, you know, grapefruits, we have uh, grapes, we have uh, jackfruit, we have durian, we have, oh my God, huh? Mm. All kind of things, yeah? All kind of fruit, all kind of beautiful vegetables and beautiful trees which give fruit, give shade, and give oxygen. Yes. Isn't that a wonderful planet? Huh? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Isn't it? Huh? Yes. 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 We take it all for granted, but we should realize that really we have everything we need, except we have to share with others so that there is no poverty, no hunger in this world. We have to stop polluting our planet so that the weather doesn't become haywire. There are many other things happen because of that, because of climate uh, craziness. Now, many places don't even have water to drink. <sighs> many places on the planet don't have enough water to drink because we populate it, populate it, more and more people all the time. And then the climate is not favorable for more people. Nowadays, we have pandemics, it makes things worse. Many people cannot work. Like uh, fruits and vegetables, a shortage, and the price has gone very high. It is truly like that. Because my company, if it doesn't affect you, you will not. Uh, because um, uh, my company, for example, one of the vegan food making companies, they report to me, say nowadays, many uh, the materials are very high priced and even shortage. Like they cannot export this and that because not everything uh, they make is from the native land. They import some things, but it's very difficult. Many things have shortage or take long, long time to arrive. Yeah, everybody has trouble nowadays like that. Uh, but this is our company. We work inside the company. It's not all that bad already. Imagine restaurants, yes, or bars, coffee shops, they have to serve people directly. And they cannot. Because, uh, you know, the government closed many small businesses, except the essential, like maybe supermarkets are open. But many others cannot open. And they are short of people who do the farm work, you know, even picking vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, picking fruit, there are shortage everywhere. The other day I looked outside in the garden where I live, I, I saw one mango tree in front of me, but it has no fruit, no flower, nothing. In other places also like that, only a couple of fruit, because, and then I realized I don't see any bee anywhere. Wow. Because they don't pollinate, that's why the tree doesn't bear fruit. Yes. And then suddenly I saw, oh my God, there's no bees around here even. And the next day, the couple of bees came. <laughs> <laughs> came, and I want to drink water. So I put a, a, like a, a basin outside for them. Mm. But they like to go into the sink because that water is too deep. So I put some sponge, you know? Mm. They're more attracted to these uh, yellow sponge. Look like flower, you know, they more attracted to color look like flowers. So I put sponge on, on the water, it floats, you know, so they can land on it. <laughs> they can drink from the sponge as well. <laughs> but I don't see them anymore. Maybe they just came to to say hello because I say there's no bees. <laughs> mm. It's often like that. When I say, how come there's nothing, then they come. The other day, I also said, oh, it's a new place, how come no birds? And then the birds came. <laughs> <laughs> they came to visit, but then they left. Aww. I was thinking to feed them, but they are not uh, like permanently there. Maybe from somewhere else to come visit. 
and chirping, chirping, singing around for a while, and then go. Sometimes they come also to tell me something, but it's not their place. They tell me things. Truly, animals can tell you things. Ah, <sighs> you know, many people read in the Bible or somewhere. All the holy scriptures say that the, the animals can communicate with you. Yeah, ask the birds, and they will tell you. Ask the fish, and they will. Uh, indicate or instruct you as the animals, huh? then they will help you. Truly like that. Nowadays, even worse, some people are so much influenced by demons. This is a time when the demons come and want to destroy the world. We have extended some years, of course, but this is still their time. <sighs> So even the top, top religious leader, I heard them say something truly more than nonsense, as if they all were made deaf, dumb, and blind, you know, or top politicians, many of them, as if they don't see anything. Everything they do or say is all illogical, or unreasonable, or very, very far from the truth, far from logic far from reason and far from the most common sense of all. Gifted viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Adam and Eve's Exile from the Garden of Eden, Part 5 of 9 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Another Golden Age Upon Earth. America, We Love You, a message from the Unveiled Mysteries by the Ascended Master Saint Germain, Vegetarian, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May God be your eternal guiding light. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.